Do you have a charge and ride setup that you're worried about impacting your charge port and breaking your charge port? Well, worry no more. Because now you can have simple and cheap protection by adding a bushing. Simple as that. Let's get started on making it. So you can be creative and make these any way you want. You don't have to use the exact same things, but the idea, the concept still plays out. So here, I went to Home Depot and I bought this. It's a three quarter inch plastic insulating bushing. There you go. I'll put the links in the description. And I got this just for extra measure. Um, it's three quarter inch O-rings. And we're gonna go ahead and build one right now real quick. So we're gonna take this unprotected XLR connector. And we're gonna go ahead and add a, add a bushing to protect it from impact. So you basically push, push down the key here, slide this on top, and it's locked into place by the, by the key. But only one side is locked in, right? So. That's where the O-ring comes into play. Take the O-ring and basically push it in. It can be a little bit of work to push it in tightly. So, you know, you can use a screwdriver or something of that sort just to shove it in place there. And once you have it shoved into place, what you'll end up with is an impact protection uh, bushing for your XLR connector. And so basically when you roll your board or something hits it, the impact won't go into the charge port. It'll instead, instead uh, push on the rails. The impact will go to the rails instead. Almost done here. It takes a little bit of work to get that O-ring tight in there. Once you have it in there, it's in there and you're good to go. Uh, there we go. Boom. Done. Pop it in. Now any impact, it's gonna go against the, uh, any impact is gonna go against the, uh, the frame here. Now I just noticed there is one thing though. This, this rotating motion can cause damage, but damage in this direction or head on will be, uh, mitigated 